Hey guys, welcome back to the Magnet Minute. My name is Amy and I'm your host. One of my favorite things about watching TV these days is how well social media is being tied in by the networks to interact with their audience. So I thought today we could talk about a couple of those strategies that the TV shows are using so that people will start talking about their shows online. First thing you see most often is the hashtag watermark at the bottom of the screen of all the TV shows. Sure, people could talk about the show on their own, but why not go ahead and clarify a hashtag so the show can actually track what's happening. A Twitter hashtag is a really great way to consolidate that conversation in one place and have viewers meet each other and continue to talk about the show. Next time you're watching a TV show, look for the watermark because you will see that there are a lot of shows that have picked up this strategy. Next is one of my favorites and that is when a show does behind the scenes vlogging so that you can see some video action of what's happening outside of the TV show. One show that does a really good job of this is The View. All of those ladies, I'm pretty sure, are on Tout, which is a mobile video messaging platform. So they'll show videos of them getting ready before the show or when they're talking to interviewees off the air. A really, really great way to drive that personal connection even further than the airtime. Next one's obvious and a lot of fun and that is photo sharing on Instagram. Photos are an even easier way to use multimedia and show behind the scenes stuff. One show that uses Instagram to its greatest ability is the Today Show, because you'll often see that they are just flooding Instagram with photos throughout their four hour time span on air. So if you see a picture of somebody that you like and you're like, oh, they're gonna be on the Today Show today, you might switch it on. Lastly, you're hearing a lot of shows, especially talk shows, say go to our Facebook page and leave a comment, tell us what you think, or go tweet us if you have a question. And that's very popular, but what's becoming even more popular is actually addressing that content on the air. The Voice is a good example. They actually show the tweets of the judges as they're watching the footage back when it's airing for the rest of the world. And there's a lot of sports shows that'll actually take tweets and Facebook posts and they will ask those questions to players, sports experts, coaches, all of the above to let them know that they are sharing what the public is thinking. In a lot of ways, social media is making traditional media better than it's ever been. So if you think they're not getting along, they actually work together very well. Tweet me after you watch this. Let me know what you think. I'm at Schmitastic and at Magnet Media Inc. And definitely subscribe to this channel because I would love to see you next week on the Magnet Minute. For more great tips and resources, make sure you sign up for the Magnet Media Resource Center and newsletter at magnetmediafilms.com slash subscribe.